Okay, guys, we are at Target. We are going to do a little holiday shopping. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> Check out some stuff. I tried to do an opening outside, but we've got some tornado like winds. Our thoughts and prayers go out to those who were involved in the big storm that we had last night with all the tornadoes running through Kentucky and pretty much all over the country. So stay safe. Let's get a to it. A lot of the holiday items Whoa. we got. What the heck is that? Yard. That Twix is bars. the biggest Twix bar I've ever seen in my life. It's not. It's just fake. <laughs> yeah, right. It says 18 18 packs. twin bar packs. Seems like a lot more than 18. They got all kinds of holiday candies and stuff up here. Show off some of these festive Christmas sweaters. Darth Santa. How much that is? 20 bucks? I don't know if they have any deals on these with it being this close to Christmas. Check this out. MTV, MTV Christmas, feline, the holiday spirit. So one thing I'm noticing here is there is a lot of missing dog food. So I don't know if they just haven't gotten it in for a while. This is kind of surprising because we haven't seen, we've always seen a lot of the dry dog food and looks pretty slim. Let's check the, uh, I do have some wet food here. So that's good. They are constantly getting in the pedigree. That's always good to know. And they have a lot of little, little dog bites. Ah, here we go. More expensive stuff, but I forgot that Target has some dedicated aisles for dog and cat food. They got plenty on this side. And looks like they got plenty of cat litter. Got some down there. So let's check out the cat food. This is mostly treats in this aisle. As you can see here, we are low. Still on cat food, but I've noticed that Friskies is making a bit of a comeback. We're starting to see more and more Friskies, which I know a lot of you guys like for your cats. And we got a lot of the little cans, lots of fancy feast. Okay, so it does seem like Target has been the store, pretty much the go-to if you're having trouble finding any cat food or anything. It seems like they're always getting it in. Probably have a nice back stock of it. Plus, I don't know how many people actually come to Target to shop for pet food, but might be the place now. It's a winter wonderland here at Target. We are back in the Christmas aisle. All kinds of cool little decor items and stuff. Farm fresh trees, man, $5 for this. Lots of Christmas candies. Uh, looks pretty good. What are these? $1.99. That's one sugar cookie, a mini bark sugar cookie for a dollar or a dollar this dollar 99 thing is the the cocoa ornament it's pretty cool do have all kinds of candy options little create your own options here very nice make some gingerbread cookies two count so i guess you can only make two but hey you know what it's fun it's more about the process like these gingerbread cottage kits which they seem to have quite a few of i don't see any prices anywhere on them check this out they got a sour patch kids gingerbread doesn't really look like gingerbread but it's a house that you can decorate fun and festive they have a complete back wall of all this different christmas candies that's pretty cool Little Santa's here, little Darth Vader. Pretty awesome. Something that's not so awesome is this Bean Boozled. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever played this game or have ever tried these drastic jelly beans. Oh boy, they're rough. Hey, check it out. For a dollar, you can get a bag of the Trolley Halo Edition. I guess Master Chief approved, huh? Just noticed they're not in the right spot. This says Peeps. This is definitely not peeps this is gingerbread men so i don't know you know what i'm gonna take it we're gonna scan it on one of the little price tag things got a complete wall of wrapping paper where's a lot of red in here a lot of red <laughs> so i do love having these self scanners in here so if something's something's out of place dollar 99 okay that makes more sense i think i'm still gonna get them something something to snag on 
So it looks like they do have some Nature Valley. And you guys were wanting to see some of those. Jess is off getting a few Christmas presents, so I figured we'd come over here and check out, see how the shelves are. Um, you know, lots of empty stuff. We kind of expected this, especially at Target, because, uh, you know, not just especially at Target, everywhere. It, guys, it seems like everywhere things have been low. These are the Wisp Cheese Crisps that I was telling you guys about, how I got the Aldi's version the other day. Uh, they do have these for... $3.99, which is actually cheaper than they are at Kroger. Uh, and I don't know. They might be the same at Kroger now. I know they used to be $4.99. But, you know, and they got a lot of Cheez-Its. That's good. I know these are things that people were asking about. They got all the goldfish you can stand, which they were low on a couple weeks ago. They have a lot of Gatorade, which is good to see. Okay, so this is something interesting. A lot of people were asking about, like, additives that you add into your waters uh, they said that they're running really low on these. I do see a lot missing. I never usually buy this stuff, but I wanted to show you guys. It does look like they have the crystal light packets, though, that people said were missing. Looks like they have a lot of these. They do seem to have a good amount of the Kool-Aid Jammers and Capri Suns. Um, you know, a lot of stuff. Just kind of showing what they got right now. Looks like they got Matt's, Matt's, Mott's apple juice back in pretty good that seems like a good price too two two forty nine two fifty nine oh this is for the apple with grape i guess okay i was confused there for a minute because this is mots for tots not really sure maybe it's got less sugar in it 40 percent less sugar okay that's what that is for 269 they do have the mots apple juice which i am going to get a thing of because this is something else that has been running low they do have plenty of pop. Uh, they don't, you know, they don't carry as much as like Kroger or Meyer or, you know, a lot of these uh, bigger stores that are more involved with grocery, but the prices really ain't that great. $4.67, save a dollar on, oh, you gotta buy three. So that'd be almost $15 for three 12 packs. Three 12 packs of Kroger right now are $13, but even that's high. Wonder if the reason why a lot of this candy is on sale for one, there is a sale going on, two for six dollars. But not just that. Kind of what I'm noticing is maybe they're putting more of the force toward getting products that they don't have in or have had trouble getting in. And then when they order, you know, they may not reorder these for another week or two. So we'll just have to see. Uh, for the most part, though, candy, candy looks pretty decent. They do have a lot. Some of you guys have mentioned that raisins have been hard to find. Now, I, I get raisins a lot when I'm at Kroger. Haven't seen any problems at Kroger. But I just wanted to point out that I am seeing that there's not as many as they usually are here at Target. So, just wanted to point that out real quick. Do have different kinds. They do have the big ones here. Plus, you can save a dollar. So, that'd be $2.99 for that big thing of raisins. Don't seem like a bad deal. So, some of you guys have mentioned... That the market pantry the target brand of things of the coffee are pretty good uh, they got this on sale for $3.99 I'm gonna give it a shot I'm gonna try the 100% Colombian uh, the only other two kinds they had was the hazelnut and French vanilla no tea has kind of been of an issue for a lot of different people they seem like they have a ton of different options of tea here they even have the Zazo that people were asking about. And as we can see here, their Campbell's soups are, hey, Campbell's condensed cream of mushroom soup, 89 cents. It's funny that the cream of soups are a lot cheaper. Usually those are the ones that never go down in price, probably because of the holidays. But as you can see, like regular tomato soup, chicken and noodle soup, $1.59 a can. Too much for me. We see all the Progresso soups here for $1.49 a can, which is still a decent price. However, we saw at Kroger, they have, you can buy, I think it was buy eight or buy 10, and they're a dollar a piece. So Kroger this week has them for a dollar a piece. If you like Progresso, I would head to Kroger and check that deal out. And the Camel's Chunky, $1.59 a can is still a pretty good deal. And it looks like that's what they always sell them for. Looks like they got plenty of ketchup. $2.79 for that big thing of Heinz ketchup really is not that bad of a deal because we've seen that uh, as high as like $4. And that's the bigger one. Also right here, I guess it's somebody wanted to put the uh, this stuff in the wrong spot here. 
However, just like everywhere else, spaghetti is very thin. No pun intended. But yeah, yeah, real low on spaghetti. Uh, it's a shame, but some of the easiest stuff to make. I don't know, it seems to be the hardest to get. I think people are buying up a lot of this because they can store it for a long time. Do have a lot of the fancier noodles though. Staline. Now, funny, we haven't really seen a big shortage on spaghetti sauce. Does look like a lot's missing here. That could be a thing for Parmesan cheese. But there are a lot of different spaghetti sauces missing. Uh, of course, got diced tomatoes there. But yeah, I mean, there are, there's a, there's a lot. A lot of ragu missing, a lot of prego, prego. This is the one I like right here, the tomato, basil, garlic, $1.99 for a bottle. That's about what it is everywhere. Um, got the Baratoli. That's a good price on the Alfredo sauce. This has been $2.99 everywhere. Now it's $2.29 at Target. There are some deals that you will always find at Target that are better deals than other places. They do this on purpose. I, you know, at least I think they do because they want you to go to multiple different stores. Uh, Baratoli might have a special deal with Target that they don't have with other stores. Sheesh. Lots of missing frozen items here. Kind of crazy. A lot of the stuff that is empty, what was a week or two ago, is full. And stuff that was full is now empty. And again, it's kind of like we said. They could have just ran out of this, so then they're adding it to, you know, I don't really know how their trucks work. So they might only be able to add so many products onto their trucks because they have to spread out all over the place. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't really know. One thing that we have noticed that you guys have been asking about are Lunchables. They have a few, but they are out of a lot. One thing is $1.89 for Lunchables. They were just a dollar like a year ago, or you could get four for five. They're up to $1.89. Some of them like these, $1.99, even $2.49, which are bigger ones. But you can see there's not many. So again, we find ourselves in the glorious heavenly paper towel aisle of Target, which they must have like a special deal with Bounty because they are always fully loaded. To point out, they do still have Egos. They got the home style people were asking about. They still have the Uncrustables. Um, missing a lot of them, but hey, at least they're getting some in. Something that kind of caught my eye here. $170 for this little tiny chair. $170. Also, this one's $170. At least this one's soft. I have caught back up with the boss. Hello, we are back from Target. Sorry, I know it's a shorter video, but we... We were buying a lot of Christmas presents. Didn't want to accidentally put some of the stuff in the video, which I could have edited out anyway. But Jess didn't want me to accidentally get some of the stuff. The stuff that we saw in our hands before wasn't for uh, a lot of that stuff. Just kind of getting spread out over the Christmas season and everything. But hey, I wanted to show you guys. I am taking a first taste of the Target's Market Pantry 100% Colombian coffee. Smells okay. Let's give it a shot. Oh, it's hot. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I would probably still take Folgers Colombian over this, but it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it'll do. $3.99 for 12 of them isn't a bad deal at all. That's about what you would pay for the Kroger brand, which theirs have actually been a little higher. Theirs normally is $4.99, but sometimes you can get a sale where if you buy so many, you get so much off. Like you guys have said, Target doesn't have as much as they had in previous years. Uh, as far as Christmas stuff goes, they did have a lot of candy like I showed you. Uh, it was good to see the food that they do have. They're out of a lot of stuff. There were a lot of people packing stuff away. They were out of a lot of dairy, a lot of milk. Um, couldn't really get back in there because a lot of people were stocking up a lot of the produce and stuff like that. And I, I never get in anybody's way. Uh, it was a fun trip though. Nice little Christmas outing. We have like maybe a couple things more to buy and then we're done. Uh, the storms last night. I want to talk about that for a second. Um, and like I said before, 
Our hearts go out to the people who have had trouble with the storms. Be safe. The winds are still pretty crazy around here. Uh, it is Saturday. We have had gusts up to 50 miles an hour. Uh, lights are out everywhere. Luckily, knock on wood, our place here, all the lights are good. Right down the street, all the, all the street lights and all that stuff is out. So hopefully they get power back up to all of you here soon. Uh, I know there was a lot of devastation in Kentucky. And uh, there was a tornado that had actually traveled over like 200 miles on the ground, which is unheard of. Unheard of. So I hope you guys are all safe. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's crazy that we have that kind of weather here in middle December. Uh, the temperatures were about 65 degrees this morning. They've dropped down. It's about 30, 35 out there right now. Uh, and it's noticeably colder, a lot colder. It's looking like the high winds are going to continue through this afternoon. So if you live in the Ohio area or east of us, everybody west, I think it's already passed. Um, but if you live east of us, east of Cincinnati, Ohio, along that line, uh, we were talking about it on the live show last night how big this storm actually was. It had traveled uh, as far from south, from the far south, like Alabama, even a little further south of Alabama, and all the way north as far as Toledo, Ohio. I mean, that's pretty much the entire nation just dragging toward the east coast. And uh, yeah, it's a crazy storm. Um, and, you know, just, just be careful. Our thoughts and prayers go out to those who need it, and I know it was a devastating storm, and, and I hope everybody's okay. It was a fun little outing to Target. Me and Jess did have an awesome breakfast, which I decided not to film because they were very crowded. We had the breakfast buffet, which is finally back open at Frisch's. Uh, Frisch's Big Boy, uh, for those of you who don't know, there's lots of different big boys across the nation. Ours in particular is Frisch's, and uh, absolutely delicious. Breakfast bar was great. I uh, had all the fixings. Everything absolutely delicious. As far as our trip to Target goes, it was a win. We got everything we needed. Uh, they had everything that we wanted. Uh, I know I tried to show some of the things that you guys have been talking about. Uh, trying to remember back some of the things that, that you guys shop at Target for. They're out of a lot of stuff. There's no doubt about it, but hopefully they'll get some of that stuff in this week. So with all that being said, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out and always remember the adventure is out there.